Welcome to Wild Tracks. Wild Tracks is an environmental sensor network that allows users to centralize, store, manage, and process their sensor data. Wild Tracks currently supports two types of sensors acoustic recording units, or ARUs, and remote cameras. This video shows you how to use the Wild Tracks camera platform to tag images. If you are interested in acoustic processing, please see the technical video on that subject located under Resources, User Guides and Tutorials. To proceed, click on Login in the top right-hand corner to log into the system. If you don't already have a WildTracks account, you can create one here. You can also access the system using a Google account, instead of creating a unique account. Enter your username and password and click Login. Once you've signed in, click My Projects to access the dashboard and begin tagging. Welcome to the Dashboard page. The Dashboard is an overview of all the sensors and projects you have access to. Here, you will see some general statistics related to the projects you're working on and any notifications or important messages. To begin, click on the sensor you would like to work on, either ARU or Camera. For this demonstration, we will select the Camera tab. Under this tab, you will see a list of all the projects you have been added to. You can sort or filter your available projects by year, project name, status, due date, total tasks, or completed tasks. When you are ready, click on a project name to get started. Welcome to the project page. From here, you will be able to access project deployments under the Deployments tab. A deployment is a set of images from a single camera at a single location. Tagged species can be viewed by clicking on the Verify Species tab. The Project Stats panel can be opened by clicking Show Stats panel on the upper right-hand corner of the screen. This will show general statistics on the current state of tagged deployments within the selected project, giving you an accessible summary view and allowing you to see your most recent tags and any high-profile tags for that project. The Stats panel can be toggled off by clicking Hide Stats panel. If you need to navigate to an earlier page, use the breadcrumb menu in the top left corner of your screen. To get started tagging images, make sure the Deployments tab is selected. Here, you will find a list of the individual camera deployments assigned to you. These can be filtered by deployment name, year, and status. Deployments ready to be manually tagged will have a status of Ready for Tagging. When you have found a deployment you want to work on, click the deployment name to begin tagging. The Tagging page is where you'll spend most of your time processing images. The name of the deployment you are currently working on is shown on the top left of the page. Directly to the right, you will find options to filter tagged images. In the Filter window, you can use the drop-down menus to search for specific tags or combinations of tags. Images for a specific time period can be found by modifying the date and time range. Click Update to apply the filters to your image set. To return to your original view, click Reset, followed by Update. You can use the Help menu to view tips and a list of commonly used keyboard shortcut commands. There are two options for tagging images in a deployment, Full Tagging and Two-Stage Subsampling. The Full Tagging view contains all images, with the exception of those which are time-lapsed or auto-tagged. The two-stage subsampling view contains up to five subsampled images from each series. A series is a set of images from a deployment with fewer than 120 seconds between consecutive images. Note that in this view, additional photos may appear if the five subsampled images are not tagged identically. To begin tagging, you can choose to either tag in the full tag view or the two-stage subsampling view. The tagging process is the same in both. This is the image tagging area. Here, you can choose the number of images displayed per page by selecting the desired option from the drop-down menu. Each page can display up to 80 images. The total number of images in the deployment is displayed in brackets. You can navigate between pages by clicking on the page numbers or by using the navigation arrows. The number panel corresponds to each image on the page you are currently on. 
If you click on a number, the main window will scroll to the corresponding image, which will be highlighted to match your selection in the number panel. You can press Escape on your keyboard or click the Unselect All button to deselect these images. You can show or hide the number panel by clicking the number panel toggle. WildTracks makes it easy to tag quickly and efficiently by providing many options for selecting multiple images. Hold the left mouse button over an initial image and drag your cursor over a group of images. Use Control A or the Select All button to select all images. Use Control Q to select all untagged images on the current page. Hold down the Control key and click on images to select them, even when they're not consecutive. Click to select an image, hold Shift, and then click on a subsequent image to select all images in between. Anytime you need a refresher, you can find these keyboard shortcuts and more in the Help menu at the top of the page. Images can be enlarged to full screen by hovering over an image and clicking on the magnifying glass icon. From here, you can move through images by pressing the left and right arrow keys on your keyboard or by clicking the arrow button on either side of the image. When you are done, press Escape or click the X in the top right corner to return to the main image tagging area. A tag gives information about species, sex, age, and number of individuals. To begin tagging, select at least one image. If you're selecting multiple photos, make sure that all of them require the same tags. The number of photos currently selected is shown on the Tag Selected button. Click on Tag Selected to open the tagging form. This window consists of both tag metadata and image metadata. Tag metadata includes species, the identified species in the image, sex, the sex of the identified species if known, age, the age category of the identified species if known, number of individuals, the number of individuals of that species, sex, and age in the image. Comments. A specific note about the tag being applied. For example, collared. Check the review box if you're not 100% certain about the tag you're applying to mark the image for further review. If there is more than one unique individual in the photo, click the plus symbol to add a new tag. Image metadata includes Field of view. This tag is applied if the camera's field of view changes significantly within an image set. Nice. An image of especially good quality. A nice image worth noting for later. Fire. There is an active fire burning in the camera view. Comments. Space for adding any specific notes about the image. For example, snow covering the lens. Select the appropriate tag metadata from the drop-down menus. If several species are found in the photo, or if there are multiple individuals of the same species but of different age or sex, click the plus symbol to add additional tags. When you're satisfied that you've selected all applicable tags for the image, click Save All and Close. You will now see the tags you applied below the selected image. The number in the bottom left corner of the image and in the number panel will be highlighted in green. If you need to remove a tag from an image, simply click the delete icon next to the tag below the image. To view or edit a tag for a single picture, click on the tag below the image. To view, edit, or delete a tag for multiple images, select all applicable images and click Tag Selected. Once you have made your desired changes, click Save All and Close. When all of the images on a page have been tagged, the entire number panel and current page number will be highlighted in green. When all page numbers are highlighted green, tagging has been completed for that deployment. Before changing the final status of the deployment, the field of view must be reviewed if required. If a field of view out of range tag was applied during the tagging process, a new field of view tab will appear on the tagging page. Click this tab to check if the camera's view has changed significantly during deployment. Images on this page are ordered in reverse chronological order. Thus, look on the first page to see if the last images from the deployment have changed drastically compared to the first. Look for a yellow triangle on a page number which indicates where the out-of-range tag was applied while tagging the images. 
Navigate to that page and locate the image with the yellow triangle and out-of-range tag. From here, locate either the last or first good image with the correct field of view. The first image will be to the left, while the last will be to the right, given the reverse chronological order. Select the last or first good image and click Tag Selected. If no tag exists, in a time-lapse image, for example, delete the tag metadata and update the image metadata. Select End or Start from the Image Field of View drop-down menu. End and Start tags are applied to the last and first good images, respectively. Select Save All and Close. When you have completed your Field of View check, click Verify Field of View at the top of the page. To indicate that the deployment is complete, change the status of the deployment by clicking Move to Tagging Complete. Continue this process until all your deployments are tagged. When you are ready, move on to the Species Verification process. Navigate to the Project page and click on the Verify Species tab. This tab contains a list of all species tags applied to images within the project you're working on, including from deployments tagged by others. You can view the common species name, tag count, and status on this screen. To begin species verification, click on an assigned species. Welcome to the Species Verification page. Similar to the tagging page, you will see a number panel on the left-hand side of the screen, and up to 80 images per page. All images on this screen will have the same species tag, but may have differences in the other applied tag metadata, such as sex, age, and number of individuals. Verification is done on a per-page basis. You will check each image on the page to confirm that the applied tags are correct. Make sure to pay extra attention to any image with an orange border, as this means the image has been tagged for review. If a tag is incorrect, you can edit it the same way you would edit a tag during the initial tagging process. Once you are confident that all images on the page are tagged correctly, click Verify Species at the bottom of the page. The page number will turn green, indicating it has been verified. If there is more than one page, you will be automatically moved to the next page. Continue the process until all pages have been verified. Use the breadcrumb menu to return to the project page. Select the next species tag in need of verification until you have completed all of your assigned species. As you verify your assigned species, their status will change from incomplete to complete. Once all of your assigned species have been finalized, the tagging process is complete. We hope you enjoy working with Wild Tracks. If you have any questions, please contact us at support at wildtracks.ca. You can also find more detailed information on how to set up projects on the camera platform at wildtracks.ca.